Look how pretty that brown is. Are you screaming? Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're doing another collection roundup. We are doing a collection roundup of my clean beauty lipsticks. And I'm pretty dang excited about it. So these are just my like true traditional lipsticks. We're not going into like glosses, lip stains, lip liners, anything that isn't a traditional lipstick of like some type. It could be like a liquid lipstick or something, but like more of like that traditional lipstick style. So I'm really excited to get into it. Any makeup I'm wearing on my face today because I know I'm gonna get a question about my lip color, which is not a lipstick. I'm gonna link everything down below so that you know what I'm wearing, but let's get into this video. I'm very excited. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's talk about my Clean Beauty Lipstick Collection. All right, you guys, let's get into it. So I think I'm gonna grab the ones I have multiples of first, and then we're gonna get into the rest of them if just so that we can get through these. These ones here. So these are the PYT lipsticks. Look at these colors. Are you gagged? They're so cute. So these are called the Sorry Not Sorry lipstick. And you know what? these are bringing all the spring vibes, which I need right now because it's cold as all get out here. So I'm going to swatch these and I'm going to tell you what I think about them. So this is the shade Popping Poppy. Oh my God, my dog's name is named Poppy. Love it. I mean, so pretty. I love it. You know, I'm going to do a bright lipstick look, like a full, just fun spring lip look soon. Um, I'm also gonna do a, this one is called Fush, which I really, I love this shade. This is so pretty. I mean, all these shades are so pretty. They're just like, I don't know. I know a lot of people are afraid of brights, but they're just so good. So this is Fush, and this one is more um, cool toned. It's really, really pretty. Then we have the more orangey tone. So this is the shade Cool Coral. This one is so bright. It's so bright. Oh Actually, they're all so bright, but this one's so, so bright. This one, I would say of all of them, I'm like, doesn't look the best on my complexion just because it is very, very orangey and orangey tone, like super, super orangey tones don't always look great on me. And then this one I'm obsessed with. This one is my favorite color. This one, right here. I hope you can see the difference between all of them. There we go. This one is gorgeous. My studio lights are really making it tough. Just so pretty. So this one here, again, is called Orange, and it is just the prettiest orangey red. It's just so, so good. And yeah, those are the lipsticks. They're really, really good. So I really like them. They're really comfortable. They remind me of the Cloven Hollow lipsticks. They're super comfortable wear. They last really long. Um, and they don't, I don't know, bright colors make me nervous sometimes because they, sometimes when they cling, it makes like the like clinginess to dry patches. It kind of makes your lips look all types of wax city, but these don't do that. They just glide over everything really well. And I have a technique where I make my lipstick last really long, where I apply the lipstick, then blot it off, then apply the lipstick again, blot it off and do that three times. Um, and if I'm wearing lip liner, I apply the lip liner the same kind of way, like apply the lip liner, lipstick, blot it off, lip liner, same thing. And that's how I kind of make my really, really bright colors last long. And these work really well with that, this, that technique. Okay, next. Next we have some more PYT lipsticks and I really, really like these. Um, these are like great, I would say beginner lipsticks because it's a duo. So what are these called? These are called the Friends with Benefits Lip Duos. And I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. And if you are looking for like a fun, more neutral tone lipstick, there's like one that's not really neutral, but neutral for every for everyone is like different. Um, and also nude is not one color. Just want to say that. Okay, so I'm going to swatch these. So my favorite shade is shade Rumor, and this is gorgeous. I've tried this on camera. This is actually really similar to the lip color I'm wearing today. So good. Okay, and then this is the lip gloss. It's just so pretty. It's like a cinnamony brown, just gorgeousness. I am, okay, I'm trying to like cover my face. There we go. So good, you can see the lipstick stain. It's like really long lasting. Okay, next, next, this is more of a bright color. This shade here is called Go Getter and this is also really freaking pretty. Oh, they're just so creamy and like, 
they're just so easy to wear every day, the, these lipsticks, because they're really comfortable. I can't stand when lipsticks aren't comfortable. And the glosses are really, really pigmented, which I love. So that is Rumor, so pretty, more of like a cranberry tone. Then we have, what shade is this? This is called Icon, and this is a very, very light tone. So this one doesn't look great on me and my complexion because it's more ashy looking on me than anything. Um, but if you like a really, really light pink, you're really gonna like this because the combo together, the lip gloss and the lipstick see how light that is it looks a little bit too light for me but it's really really even with a lip liner it's like too light and not warm enough for my complexion and this one is warm enough um and this one is called babe ali babely i'm gonna link everything down below <laughs> this one is so pretty so this one is very light but I can wear a lip liner with this, a brown a brown tone lip liner, and this is good. This is more beigey, and I don't, beige doesn't always look great on me. Sometimes it does, it just depends. And that is this one down here, really, really pretty. It reminds me of my favorite lipstick um, from Kosas Vegas, which we're gonna talk about later, but really, really good. I like these a lot. They wear really well. The glosses are really long lasting, which is impressive, because they're on the thicker side, but they're not so thin where you're kind of like, or not so thick where it's like gloopy and you have like those lines. It's really good. I like the PYT lip products a lot. They have other ones, but these are like the true traditional lipsticks. Okay, next. Next, let's talk about these. This is from Jason Wu and this is called the, I wanna say hot, honey fluff. That's what it is, honey fluff. And I have one shade in this and I'm obsessed with it. This is the most beautiful color. It's called Luminous. I believe is the shade. And I also have the matching lip liner and it's just so good. This, okay, first of all, is like more of a whipped texture, which I love because sometimes liquid lipsticks are just too much. Look how pretty that brown is. Are you screaming? Please ignore all the lipstick marks on my hand. This is so good. It's so good, it wears really nicely. It's not super long lasting though, in the sense of like how uh, the like, how liquid lipsticks dry down. It doesn't dry down like that, but I do find that if I kind of pat it with like a paper towel or something like that napkin after I've applied it, it lasts a lot longer. So that is a good tip. I find that it's just like such a, I don't know, such a good tip. Okay, next. What do I have next? Oh my gosh, I have so many freaking lipsticks. Okay, next. Next, let's talk about, oh, let's, you know what, let's stick here. So I have this, this is also Jason Wu, and this is a three-in-one, but I thought I'd mention it because a lot of people like a matte lipstick. Um, this is their Hot Fluff, and this is the shade Cannoli. I personally, since this is a three-in-one, like to wear this on my cheeks, um, but the texture of these is so good and they last really, really long. And although they're more matte, as you can see, they don't cling. And that I feel like is really impressive. Anything that clings, honey, baby, sweetie. My lips can't do it because I have dry lips, I just do. But these are good, they last really long, they're really, really pretty. I ordered a purple shade of this and that is gonna be just like so good. I love a purple blush, but also like a nice purpley tone for the lips is really, really good too. And just, just berry beautifulness, but like not super red berry, I love it. Okay, next, 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 next. Let's do, you know what, let's do these next because I have two. So these are the Kosas lipsticks and I've talked about these a ton and everyone's sick of it and I know, I know. So I have two shades in this um, and I really like these lipsticks. So I'm gonna apply just here. So this shade here is a really pretty, oh, uh, look at that. This is the shade Undone and this is like a perfect like bedroom lip. <laughs> Can I get with the camera? Um, this is like a perfect bedroom lip. Like if you apply it and you tap it out and it's kind of like that bitten lip look, are you screaming? Cause I am, it's so good. And then my favorite shade of all time is Vegas. And Vegas I wear with a brown lip liner and it reminds me of the, um, what is this? The duo from PYT in the shade Baby Lee, I think is what it's called. I can't see the full name, but again, everything's gonna be linked down below. Um, and I'm going to, I have backups of this color specifically because, okay. 
don't know why I do this to myself and make it more complicated than it needs to be. This is like the perfect nudie tone for me, um, but it's more of a beige nude, right? Like nude is not the same for everyone, but this is a really good beige nude. I wear it with Victoria Beckham 05, or I've, actually I wear it on top of most of my lip liners, 05, 04. It's just so pretty. And this is my wedding lipstick. Every time I talk about it, I have to mention it's my wedding lipstick because I feel like everyone's looking for a perfect nude and I think perfect nudes don't necessarily exist because first of all, everyone's complexion is different. Everyone's undertones are different. And um, what type of like consistency of lipstick you like is also hard to find in a nude that works, if that makes sense. Like you, there's no perfect, but this to me is pretty damn close because it, just sits on lipsticks well, it hydrates me, and I and like this is a good wedding lipstick because it's hydrating. By the end of the day, I was like, my lips were pretty dry because it was really cold on my wedding day, and I'd take pictures outside. By the end, I was like looking all types of messed up. But these lipsticks are really good, they're really creamy, they last really long. I will say there's a texture difference between Vegas and the rest of the lipsticks. Vegas is a little bit more lightweight, these are a little bit more they're a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thinner, but so, so good. I'm obsessed with these, such a comfortable wear. Really, really good. And I think the shade range is really nice. I do hope they come out with more browns and like other nude tones, like other beiges, other browns, because I think that this formula with more of a skin tone, kind of neutral nude lip range would be incredible. Okay, next, 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 next. Okay, next, you know what? Let's talk about this one since we just talked about the Kosa's lipsticks. These are the Ilia lipstick. These are, this is the Ilia lipstick. And the shade I have in this is Marsala. And this shade, oh my God. If you like a bit in lip color, then you'll probably really enjoy the shade too. I'm gonna swatch this like this. Just look at that. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty and although, and here's the thing. I will say, I feel like a lot of the tones that are meant to be nude, um, or more neutral are very, very pink. And so I think there's a very select handful of people that look really good with like pinker tones. And then the rest of us out here on the streets flailing and don't look that good with pinks unless you line your lips. Um, but this is a really pretty one. Although it skews more pink, I like to apply it and kind of dab it out and kind of create a more pillowy look. And that way it works really well for me. And it's really, really pretty. This is more of a spring lip color for me because it again, skews more pink. If I had to go with one, I would have to go with Undone for year round because the undertone matches better for like my needs for every day and also my personal preference. Um, okay, next, next, let's talk about this one. So this is the Cloven Hollow Lipstick. I've talked about this a million times. The consistency of this is really similar to the um, PYT lipsticks and the shade range is really, really pretty. So this is my favorite red lipstick. Oh my gosh, my hand, my arm is like all types of crazy. So this is the shade Cruella, no. <laughs> No, that is a NARS color. This is the shade Damsel and it's so pretty. It just wears beautifully. Again, doesn't cling, wears really similarly to this. Um, and these also wear really similarly to the Kosas and also the NARS traditional style lipsticks. Really, really good. If you like that texture, you're gonna really like any of these because they just, apply really similarly. They have the same type of thickness, but it's not like thick in a bad way. It's like, it has lasting power. It's not super thin. I will say again, the Kosas in Vegas is a little bit of a different consistency. It's a little bit more on the thin side, but the rest of their lipsticks definitely hold up with that texture of being more on the thick side. Oh my gosh, I have to stop swatching on my arm because I'm looking insane. If you wanna see this lipstick in action, um, I did a video, a holiday makeup look where I used this lipstick and I tried this on, it was really good. Okay, next. Okay, let's go into this one because I really, really like this lipstick. So this is the shade Wavy and this is a milk makeup lipstick. And is it a specific? No, I think it's their only lipstick. I didn't know if it had a specific name. And this, oh my gosh, girl, I'll go over here now. This shade, uh, just what winter dreams are made of, fall dreams are made of, just gorgeous, so pretty. And the wear on this is really nice. Um, and I don't find, I mean, you the, you can see, it's not like a patchy shade. Really dark shades can be patchy and it drives me up a creek and back because like, why are you patchy? Why are you patchy? We don't get patchy from this one. And that to me is a marvel and should be talked about more because it's really good and their shades are really, really pretty. But the shade Wavy is just the most beautiful, brownie, 
like berry, I don't know. I don't even know. It's like more brown, but it has a little bit of a berry undertone to it. It's gorgeous. I am obsessed. Okay, next. Oh my gosh, when I shower today, it's gonna be like a river of <laughs> a lipstick just running. Okay, next. Next, oh, minted. Let's go on to here. So this is the minted lipstick in Dope Taupe. First of all, their packaging, gorge, 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 gorge. Um, I'm gonna swatch this here because my hand's looking, my arm's looking crazy. This is the most beautiful brown color of all time. Look at this. If you want good brown tones, this is minted, first of all, just it's unmatched in their brown nudes. Like they're just so, so good. Um, also my favorite lip liner shade from them is the shade Lala. It's like a more pinky tone. They have a lipstick in that. And let me tell you something, I'm buying it because I was buying this to see if I like the texture of their lipsticks. And now I'm like, put it in me and on me. It's so good. It's just so pretty. The wear is really nice. It doesn't cling to dry patches. It's just really, really, really good. And I'm very, very impressed with their formulation. Um, and their price, again, like price unmatched for a lot of like minted stuff, just unmatched for like what you're getting. Okay, next, should we do this? This one, let's do this. So this is a Well People lipstick. And this shade that I have here is the shade Choose Love. And this is the Optimus Semi Matte. And this shade um, isn't a great match for me because it's very pink, um, but it is a very pretty lipstick and the way that it wears is nice. If I wanna wear this lipstick, I have to wear a brown lip liner with it, um, but it doesn't mean that I can't wear the lipstick. I just have to like definitely prep because it's, a, it's like a lighter pink. If you are looking for like a really comfortable wear that you can just go and buy at like Target, then um, this is really good. Um, and I don't know if PYT is available at Target, but Jason Wu is available at Target as well. Really, really good. Super, super, really, like I'm a really big fan and I'm gonna be doing a whole Well People video and I'm very excited like to give you a full review on the brand because they definitely are more accessible in the sense of you can get them at places like Target and stuff like that. Really, really good. Okay, next. Oh, you know what? So I have two liquid lipsticks I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna talk about this, which is a more crayon style. This is the um, Rose Ink Lipstick, and this is the shade Quartz Lip Color. And I will say, I had a really hard time with um, the Rose Ink colors because I didn't feel like the swatches that they offered were accurate. And so like I had a really hard time finding it, but I like kind of knew from the description um, that I was getting a more rose petal colored one. So the shade is really, really pretty. Um, I like to wear this blotted out. I find when I just apply it and I don't blot it out and like stamp it out that it doesn't last super, super long on me. Um, I feel like their shades are really pretty, but I do hope that they expand to include neutrals. But I do like this blended out, but on its own, like just applied when I don't like kind of uh, like stamp it out and create a more like pillowy looking lip. I don't find that the longevity is there for this. Um, but when you stamp it out, it lasts super, super long, I will say like really, really good. But again, I do hope that they expand this shade range to include some more like beige nudes and brown nudes and stuff like that. Okay, next, next we're gonna talk about this one. This is the Lawless Liquid Lipstick. The shade I have in this is Prince. And first of all, pigmentation is wild. So I find this liquid lipstick texture to be too thick for my personal preference for every day. Um, I find also the scent to be really strong and it doesn't really dissipate in my opinion. Like it kind of lasts a while, like it goes away after a little bit, but like it takes some time. It smells like berries or something. It smells really good, but it kind of lasts long for like lipstick, especially if you're wearing a mask. Um, but the shade, like this is beautiful. It's not patchy as you can see doesn't apply patchy, but I do find it clings, in my opinion, to dry patches on my lips. And it doesn't really, again, it's a liquid lipstick. So liquid lipsticks in general, um, be, like unlike the Jason Wu one that I talked about earlier, what was it, where is it? This one kind of glides over dry patches and doesn't make them so apparent. I find that this clings a lot. And because it's a thicker texture, I notice it on my lips like all day and it drives me a little bananas. But look at this pigmentation. Like it's truly 
it's so good. Like what? Hocus Pocus pigmentation is this. Like there's no patchiness. Darker shades again or bright shades can be patchy and this one just isn't really, really good. Um, so in terms of pigmentation, in terms of it lasts decently long, I wouldn't say it's the most long lasting formula, but it, it lasts pretty long. Um, and I feel like the colors are just beautiful. It's just like not my personal preference for liquid lipstick. But if you like a really more traditional style liquid li lip, liquid, liquid lipstick that you can like feel on your lips, you'll probably really, I mean, you probably will really like this. I know people who do enjoy it. Look at that. Look at the, like, look at how, like she stains, like sh she'll be there for a while. It's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with the, the um, color and like the pigmentation of it all. Okay, so then lastly, we have this lipstick. I've talked about this ton from Honest Beauty. This shade is called BFF and I really, really like this. And this is more my my taste in consistency because it's a little bit thinner. So this is the shade BFF. Um, I do like to wear a liquid, uh, a liquid, a lip liner with this um, depending on the day, but it's a really pretty shade and it's just thinner so I don't notice it throughout the day. And I feel like that's really important for liquid lipsticks, at least for me, because I can't, I can't handle anything uncomfortable on my lips. I start to freak out and then pick up my lips and then I make my lips look all, again, like a rabid dog bit them. So anything that like makes me feel uncomfortable, I start to fiddle with my lips. I don't know if you're like that. This one doesn't make me fiddle. Um, it's very comfortable. The colors are really pretty. I really do like Honest Beauty's lip products. Um, and yeah, that is it for my clean beauty lipstick video. I hope that you found this video entertaining or helpful or gave you any ideas on products to buy. I feel like I'm gonna get asked what my favorite lipstick is overall. Favorite color is Kosas Vegas by far, super, super good. I really like this formula a lot. Um, and I also like the traditional, like not the traditional, the other ones, the ones in the black packaging formula as well, really good. I will say, I feel like bang for your buck in terms of lipsticks is here. Um, for neutrals, it is the minted lipstick and it's just like their matte lipstick, really good. It's just for nudes specifically, like brown nudes. And I feel like, especially if you have a darker complexion or actually just a lot of people just like to wear browns in general. Like these are really, really pretty. I feel like the undertones are really, really good. They don't skew super warm. And I feel like that's a miss a lot of the time with lipstick colors that are more on the brown side. They tend to skew really red or have like more of a warm undertone and that isn't always suited for everyone. This is really, really good. I like a lot. Um, the Jason Wu ones are really good too. They don't, just, they just don't tend to be very neutral, um, but these are really pretty too. Really, really good. And I also really like the PYT ones. I don't really have like a favorite favorite, but favorite color for sure is here. Um, and um, favorite like neutral brown shade range is here with Mented. So yeah, that's it for my Clean Beauty lipstick collection video. I would love to know what is your favorite lipstick? Have you tried any of these? Are you gonna grab any of these? Let me know down below. Also leave any video suggestions down below for future videos. And yeah, that's it for my Clean Beauty lipstick video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.